Walker with rock moving attacks. This cannabis holds like a special place in my heart because the whole thing was just like the most bizarre shit ever. Because my angle was cannabis, I had to stand next to Disaster's entourage and just fucking like listen to what they were saying, try not to crack my like crack up. But like literally the whole entourage was like, cancel this battle and fucking stop it right now. This is bullying. Oh my god. And I was like, oh yeah, no, this is pretty bad. As he just stood there and like, Sounded like he was on his deathbed or some shit, like sucking spit through his teeth and just like staring at I didn't know if he was staring at me or this. It seemed like he was staring at me. And then I, then I like caught eyes with like classic packs and nipples and thought they were staring at me. It was fucking like awkward. I don't know why that was my favorite battle to film. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an hour and a half of choking, but it was fucking like, like I, I, I've never filmed a battle that has so much choking in it and actually felt like I've been doing something that like, like I, I feel like that was one of the like, biggest moments of hip hop in like the last 10 or 15 years and like to film that was like so fucking super interesting What is going on? Like why is he like Tom Cruise mom shoes and shit? I don't, I don't know what is happening like this is hilarious One of the dumbest things I've done was like I don't know if you guys know what Magaluf is, or Shagaloof, or whatever you want to call it. It's basically like this disgusting fucking Spanish fucking town where like everyone goes to try and bang like... Everyone tries to go there to have sex. I don't know if it's like Cancun wait, in America. Wait, wait, why, why? It's just like basically like this cheap place in Spain where like there's loads of nightclubs and loads of bars. Like yeah. you go there and there's like club reps outside. It's like, oh, if you come into my bar, you can have like a bucket of vodka for like, 10 euros and you're like oh that sounds great i'll do that you end up like downing vodka and trying to like sleep with women and just fucking do dumb shits in like clubs it's like it's, yeah. it's a cesspit of people where if you go there you're just like yeah i hate the human race everything about the human race is fucking disgusting but like when i was there i went to some like club and i remember going downstairs in this club and like it, it, in the bottom floor of the club it was just like strippers everywhere i remember just like looking around I was like, oh this is confusing i don't know what's going on here but there's there's naked girls and shit, that's interesting. I turned around and next thing I knew, no, I like woke up and I was like four miles away in the middle of a road, <laughs> like with like people shaking me going, you can't sleep here, guy. <laughs> You're gonna get mugged. <laughs> I was like, ah. I like, I kept like having to walk around. I think like every now and again, I just like to take a break and fall asleep on a park bench. And <laughs> I kept trying to like walk to my hotel, but I kept like seeming to like walk further and further away to like the middle of like random Spain and then eventually I just got a cab, found myself at home, it was alright. Another story that I gotta tell, okay so like Christmas Eve a couple years ago I was like I had a, a house party and those people around my house and my brother and my best friend were there, Terry Gillen and my brother Alex and uh, I went to sleep early because I got too drunk so I needed to pass out so I went to sleep and like suddenly like people were, like smashing on my door like punching it and I woke up I was like fuck off, just fuck off, I'm a sleeping guy and uh, next thing I know someone's at, like five people are in my room and they pu push my TV on the floor and at that point I got up and I was like just fuck off get the fuck out of my room now I got really fucking angry about it and they all got out and like I tried to get back into bed and like settle myself down and like calm down and then like suddenly I remember hearing the radi radiator get knocked off the wall like this was like my flat and like I got really pissed off I got up and like as I went to go to like the kitchen which was opposite my bedroom someone like threw a glass through the window so like i was incredibly like heated incredibly like pissed off about what was ever going on i remember going up and like i was like get the everyone just get the fuck out everyone needs to get out of my fucking house now everyone get the fuck out and my brother and my best mate was like no oh, fuck you fuck you you prick you're a fucking prick i was just like no i'm not a fucking prick you need to get the fuck out of my house you need to stop fucking inside of me you need to leave and they was like, no, you're a fucking cantar, you cunt. And like, I was getting so fucking like angry at like what was going on. I was so like <laughs> incensed by it. I was just like, what do you mean I'm a cunt? My radiator's broken, someone smashed my fucking windows. My TV's been knocked over, there's a hole in my fucking door. And like, I was like, you need to calm down. Like, no, you need to fucking calm down. Like, threw him to the floor. And as I tried to throw him to the floor, like, my friend like pushed me. So like, I smacked him in the face. <laughs> broke his nose and his nose just started like pissing blood oh and like God. I was like I, I was like angry shit and he just started like getting all this blood and just like wiping it on my fucking like walls of shit <laughs> like I was getting oh I was like even God. more angry by the fact that he was doing this yeah. so I like 
people like holding me back and I was trying to like kick him in the face. <laughs> I was getting to hold back and I was like, ah, you dickhead. <laughs> I remember like the next day like having to like spray all the walls and like wipe them down and then my best friend called me he's like, guess what I got for Christmas? Fucking broken nose, you fucking asshole. So many least bound, least favorite battle I've ever found. Tom Kane vs Jace Mug was fucking trash. What else was trash? Um, so dry up. Every single bleak battle. Like I, 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 I love battle. My least favorite battle I've ever filmed is Unanimous vs Disaster. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it. So what? The reason I hate Unanimous vs Disaster so much is like I regard Archaic as a really fucking good friend, and I actually really like Tommy. He's like a really difficult person to get along with, but I really like Tommy. He, in real life, he's a really easy person to get along with, but his like battle character is really fucking difficult to get along with for a lot of people. But I remember during that battle, like, so firstly, Psychosis Holocaust comes out and like threatens Yunnan, which is like super awkward in itself. But like, I, I, I was just like, like, I really like Theo, but the way it was done, I was just like, oh, the way it's Theo. Psycho is solid course, but I was just like, this is like borderline bullying, it's like really gay, like rap battles are not serious in the slightest for all the people that sit at home saying, oh my god, he's barring his life away. He's, he's not, he's saying words to someone in a creative way and it's, it's kind of like homoerotic that they're doing it in the first place, <laughs> like, the, the whole idea of like, Killing someone is so lame. You're not killing anyone. You're saying words to someone. If you if if you think it's anything else than that, you're fucking like delusional as shit. So in that aspect, what they were doing was way beyond like battle rap. So like the fakey punch and shit like that. Theo's a really good friend of mine. I really respect what he did for what he does. But like that whole like setup, I just thought was like corny as shit, and it made me like annoyed. I was like angry filming that. And like as much as people say Frankie Fraser, who's the guy who like stood up for you now in the video. As much as people say, oh, he's just trying to get airtime. I really respected him for just being like, no, this is not okay. I'm gonna like stand on Yunnan's side and if anything happens, even if I'm gonna get beaten up, I'm just gonna stand there and back him. I know backing him is gay in America, but backing him in England literally means I will be on his side and I'll help him out. It, backing someone literally means if someone's gonna start fighting your friend, you will, you will beat them up or you will like fight for them. Even if you're gonna get hurt, you're backing someone. Um, so I respected Frankie for that. I thought like, yeah, that that is a real guy. He's at least like standing up for someone that he believes in, and like the whole situation was so fucking gay that like you then kind of needed it. Like like Diz and like Psychosis of course Holocaust were like, oh, I'll beat you up, and like 900 people in fucking leaves like, yeah, this is awesome. Because like battle rap, like deep down, like all you people who are fans of battle rap, it's like some massive like gladiator complex where you're all like, oh, I hope it kicks off into a fight. I, I hope it escalates into that because what people actually want to see is everything going wrong, which never happens in battle rap. But what people want to see is everything going wrong. So like when like the option for it going wrong happened, everyone was fucking excited as hell. And it's gay. <laughs> battle rap's gay. Um, I love it, but it is gay. <laughs> I love it, but it is gay. Avocado <laughs> agrees with me 150%. As much as he won't say the shit on camera, oh, bag, you know. but, but he, he backs the shit out of me right now. <laughs> he, 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 but everything I'm saying, all of us, like, I don't care, like every single person who's a figurehead of battle rap completely agrees with what I'm saying. We just keep it going. <sighs> this probably won't play out too well in the edit, but yeah, yeah. <laughs>